At Junkature, we love to follow your students' creative journeys and how they progress over time. And that's why we encourage you to tag us in any social media posts for us to reshare their work to our wider community. No doubt you will also want all members of your school to know about your students' participation in Junkature and how they're getting on. And that's why for this chapter, we have a member of the Junkature team who will take you through how to use the social media assets available in both the Starter Pack and the Resource Hub to make your content stand out. Hi there. So today I'm just going to be showing you how to use your Junkature creator assets. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our Junkature starter kit. We're going to scroll through the document to the second last page and you'll see a button titled Download the JK Assets. If you click this button, they should download automatically and you'll find them in your downloads folder. I've already downloaded the documents for the purpose of this demonstration and moved them to my desktop. So once we open the Creator Assets folder, you'll see that there are three subfolders, grid frames, posters, and profile picture frames. Once we go into the grid frames folder, you'll see that there are lots of different color options, and all these images are in PNG format, which means that they have built-in transparency, and you'll be able to just lay those over your own images um, to post on social media, which I will show you how to do now. So first of all, we're going to open Microsoft PowerPoint, and we're going to drag in an image of our choosing. So for this tutorial, I've just gathered some JK photography that I'm going to use. So I'm going to drag that in now. Okay, so I've selected an image and you can see that it's landscape and we're hoping to post this on Instagram. So square format would be best. Um, so first of all, I'm just going to right click and I'm going to go down to format picture. And then once I'm in there, I'm going to select the little picture icon at the end and I'm going to go down to crop position. So you can see that the height is less than the width. So we're just going to make sure the height is the same as the width so that it is a square format. And you can see once I do that, press enter, that the image is off center. So we're just going to click the little crop icon on the top so that we can just position the image inside our crop so that it is centered. Now that the image is centered, I'm going to go ahead and grab my frame. So I'm going to go back to my creator assets folder and into my grid frames. I'm just going to choose one. So I think the blue would be nice against the red background because they're opposite colors. So I'm going to drag that into PowerPoint now. And as you can see, it is square image format. So we're just going to drag that over our existing image. And then we're going to highlight everything. And then we're going to right click and go down to save as picture. And when you're exporting from PowerPoint, the best image format is PNG, which is what it automatically uh, saves the image as. So there's no point in changing it. And we just select a location to save it and then press save. So I'm just going to open the image there to show you. It's saved with the template on top, ready to post. So now we're going to look at the posters. So we're going to go back to our creator assets folder and open the posters folder. And then we'll see that there is a PowerPoint. So once we open that. So once that opens, you'll be able to see from the thumbnails that there's loads of different poster options that we've designed for you. And we made them in PowerPoint, so they're really easily accessible. So I'm just going to scroll through here and choose one. And I'm just going to go for this one here. And if you see on the right, it says click icon to add pictures. So we're just going to click that little picture icon. And we're just going to locate an image from our demo folder here. I'm going to select that image and you'll see that it just inserts it to the shape of the text box. There's no need to resize anything. And you just type in the name of the design in the little text box to the left. So this one was called Do Your Own Sting. So I'm just going to type that in there. So we're going to go file export now, and then you can see that there are lots of different format options. So there's PDF and then there's also JPEG down there as well. JPEG will be better for posting online and PDF is better for printing. So we're going to export this as a PDF. And then once we've exported it, we're going to find it in our folder and open it. And if you wanted to print this file, we do control P on Windows or command P on Mac. And you can just select to print that page. So that was page 11. So we would just type that in and then print it if we wanted to. 
So we're just going to go back to our creator assets folder and we're just going to look at the profile picture frames. And so once we've opened that folder, you can see there's a few different color options. So we're just going to open up PowerPoint again and go back to that original document that we had open. And we're just going to create a blank slide. And we're going to drag in another image from our demo folder there. So now I've selected an image, I'm going to drag that in. And for Instagram profiles, they have to be square. So I'm just going to do the same thing as I did earlier and crop the image into a square format. And then using the crop tool, I'm just going to center the image. So now I'm going to open up my creator assets folder and go into profile picture frames. I'm just going to select a picture frame that I think will go well with the image and I'm going to drag that into PowerPoint. Once I've dragged that into PowerPoint, you'll see that there are different toggles on the sides for resizing. You don't want to pull from the bottom or the top or the sides because it'll uh, distort the image. So you want to pull from the corners, that way it'll keep it in uh, the right aspect ratio. So we're just going to move the images around and play with the positioning of the image so that the template doesn't cover her face too much. And we're just going to keep playing with that until we get it to fit properly. So now that I'm happy with it, I'm going to select everything. And the same as earlier, I'm going to right click and go save as picture. And I'm going to save as a PNG in the same location. I'm just going to title it profile picture frame. And now you want to send the grid picture and the profile picture to yourself on mobile, either through email, AirDrop, Bluetooth, whatever method is easiest for you. So now that we have our images on mobile, we're going to open up Instagram and press the plus icon at the top and it'll open up your photo gallery. So choose the grid post image and then click next and click next again. And then we're going to write a quick caption for the image. And then we're going to click tag people, press the image again, and then search for Junk Couture. And then press done. And then we're also going to add the hashtag Junk Couture to our caption as well. And when we're ready, press OK. And then you just press share to share that image. So now I'm going to show you how to change your Junk Couture profile image. So go into your Instagram profile and click edit profile. Click change profile photo. Go down to choose from library and this will open up your photo gallery. So select the image that we created using the Junk Couture assets. Make sure it's centered and then click done when you're ready. And then click done again to save those changes. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.